Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Are you tired of seeing that messy mess of wires underneath your table whenever you walk away from it, whenever you bend down to pick something up, whenever people go into your room and they're like, oh, what is that chicken's nest under your desk? Well, I sure was. And it actually was causing me a bit of stress knowing that my wire management whatever thing was going on was really messy and not very satisfying to look at so in this video i went over and fixed up my cable management i'm going to go over all the exact things that i used and everything that i did so maybe that can inspire you to do some cable management yourself let's jump into it Welcome to Snazz Up Your Setup episode two, a monthly series where every first Friday of the month, we cover different themes on how you can make your setup or your battle station a little bit better. It can include things like this, where it's themed around wire management, themed about a certain setup or things like that. Or it can include very cool desk accessories that we just stumble upon or we're using and different things you can trial in your setup to see whether you like it better or not. I'm thinking someday we'll do something on lighting, something on a theme set around different brands. Ideas are welcome. So if you have any ideas, you know, feel free to put them in the comments down below. <sighs> okay, wire management. It's something I've been hesitating to do because I've never done it before. It's stressful but it's stressful leaving it there like that as well. So I decided to take the plunge. I watched a bunch of videos on the internet, on YouTube, on different wire management systems, videos, examples, inspiration, all that jazz. And I bought a ton of products on Amazon just to see what I could do with my setup. So I ordered a bunch of items. These are some of the items that I bought. And if you want to purchase anything for yourself, they're linked in the description box down below, like always. So the first thing I got were a bunch of zip ties and a bunch of zip tie holders, I guess, with adhesive backs. So you peel the tape, stick it on, and then put a zip tie through that. And that's really easy because you can pretty much place them wherever you want. I got a lot of zip ties. Alongside that, I have a lot of Velcro ties as well. And I really love these because they're reusable. And if you want to disconnect something and replace something, you can without cutting through your zip ties and doing that all over again. I also got a single monitor stand. I know this is upsetting because uh, there's no more supple leopard on my desk, but don't worry because I put the leopard somewhere else and it's also a really crucial part of the setup too. So links for that down below, check out supple leopard if you want to become more mobile. Anyways, I also got adhesive cord organizers. These, these are really convenient. I got an under the table cable tray or a rack and that came with two surprisingly and I only used one. And then I also got a power strip that I could screw directly into the table as well so I can hide more of those wires. And last isn't something that you can buy, but I save a lot of those twisty ties or bread ties that you know you buy on bread or whatever and i save those up so whenever we go shopping and we're done with the bread i just throw them all into a ziploc baggie somewhere so i got a lot of those and i like those because they're flexible they're also really easily removable and you know they're sort of free so i decided to do this all in one day i thought it would take me five hours so i blocked it saturday morning on my google calendar but in reality, I think it only took me like two hours and I got really into it. I was definitely in this nice state of flow where I was like, ooh, I know exactly what I'm gonna do and I don't want it to stop. So I started with disconnecting everything, everything on the table, under the computer, whatever needed to go. 
and then I removed everything from the table. I made sure it was all empty. I cleaned it. So start off from a blank slate from square one. So we flipped the table around and the first thing was we positioned the cable rack and the outlet somewhere. My spatial reasoning definitely isn't the best, so I needed Jake's help for this. But once those were screwed in, it felt pretty good. So I flipped the table back over, pushed it where it needed to be, and now we get to the cables. So the only wire that you see is the wire of the outlet that goes down one of the legs that plugs into directly into the wall. So that's the only visible wire if you're looking at the table from top down. Everything else that needs to be powered connects directly into the outlet under the desk. Pretty smart. And I only needed to use like three zip ties for that. But my desk is height adjustable, so I needed to account for that height adjustment. And that probably was one of the more difficult things, but only part of the leg rises. So I zip tied everything to the part that doesn't move and then I give it some slack for the part that does move. As for the monitor mount, that was pretty easy to install. It needed to be a little bit on the side because I like my monitor pushed all the way back. So I zip tied the cables to the monitor. I know you can still see a little bit, but it's a lot better than what it was before. And then as for a lot of the cables, I, I tried hiding it behind the speakers. So if you look at it from the side, you can see a lot of little things going on and everything just goes into that cable tray and then routes back out into my PC. What really helped was that there was a large like Velcro wire cable cover thing that came with a flexi spot. A desk riser that I used to just bundle it all up and then of course because the desk goes up and down it sort of compresses and then decompresses. I reinforced that using two different velcro ties so all that's really easy to take out and if I need to replace my mouse or my microphone or my headset like that's all really easy to do as well. Very few things in this are actually zip tied because I don't like the permanence of something being zip tied. And then of course people keep telling me I can't keep my PC on the floor and I don't have some kind of riser. So that's where the Subbolt Leopard went. It's raising my PC maybe two inches off the floor, which is a lot better what, than what was happening before when it was just sitting directly there. But we will be upgrading our PCs this winter or Q1 next year, not sure yet. The money's sort of tight, the budget's sort of tight, you know, so that's gonna take a little bit of time, but I'm tired of my video editing software crashing when I'm trying to export whatever I'm exporting. So of course I have some of my previous accessories from last episode, like my phone stand, my wooden coasters, things like that. And that's basically it. I mean, everything was really simple. I think the hardest part was telling myself I could do it and then actually going out and blocking the time and then just diving straight into it. And then of course the blinds don't look very good but we are replacing them with softer, more clothy blinds this weekend. So you'll probably see that in some future B-roll over time or maybe on Insta, so check that out. So as far as desk accessories go, we got sent some pretty cool stuff this month. One thing was the Devoom Ditu speaker. I know some of you were asking about that in the Q&A video. This thing is a portable Bluetooth speaker. The volume goes up pretty loud and the audio quality is pretty amazing. But I personally use it as a clock, so it's sort of lame. But every hour on the hour, it also tells me the weather and it tells me the temperature as well. So I thought that was a really cool feature. It does have some mechanical keys that you can press and a slot machine little thing as well. So there's some games on it. You can play Tetris, Snake, the slot machine game, things like that. It has a pixel screen and you can edit those displays to be whatever you want if you're like a pixel artist or something, but I'm not. I just use it as a clock and it's really uh, useful. Alongside that, we use it as a speaker during cardio sessions or when we work out outdoors in our outdoor gym area. It connects really easy to your phone. You just turn on the Bluetooth, find it, connect it, and that's it. It lets you turn up the volume up and down using some of those buttons. 
and there are other displays on there but like i said i don't really use them and alongside that it comes with a cute carrying case but i just leave it on the floor one thing that uh, you probably need to know is that the battery life lasts about one day. I charge it overnight every day on the wall, but if you want to just keep it connected in all the time, you can do that too. Pricing, I believe, is somewhere under $100, but I'm not sure exactly. You can check those out in the links down below. We also got sent a FlexiSpot M7 MB desktop riser. Now, this isn't like the perfect product for us, but if you're working from home or studying from home or whatever, and you already have a table, but you want to adjust it to a height where you can stand and then sit and you know go back and forth like how we do with our height adjustable desk. This is something that's sort of affordable and you don't have to trash your old desk, you can just transform it. So that's really cool. They do have different options available with different heights and widths and sizes as well. This is one of those products where I would have really loved to have when we first made the switch from working in the office to working at home. I had a desk that, you know, couldn't really be moved up and down, but I know that I couldn't just sit at my desk all day, even though that's what I pretty much had to do because I was working from home and I was on the clock pretty much the entire time. And this product would have been really great for that. It has, I believe, 35 inch inches across. So that's where you can put your monitor. It can fit two monitors if you need to. And then it has like a detachable mouse and keyboard space that you can just plug in and then lock it in place. It doesn't really work if your keyboard is more than 10 keyless that's if you have a full-size keyboard i don't think it's going to work out because you're just barely going to have any mouse room and personally for me mouse room is just so important rather than really extending your arm and really protracting your scapula to get your mouse to do anything i think you should just go for the compact keyboard make some of those sacrifices there 65 percent or 75 percent i think is a really good layout for this specific setup and then a wireless mouse would help as well. But changing the height's really easy. There's like a plug, a switch on the side that you just hold and you, it goes up. I believe it's like hydraulic powered. Going down requires a little bit more pressure. You have to hold it and then press a little bit. But I mean, it's pretty easy to do. I can do it, I'm pretty weak. And it holds up to 33 pounds. So I think that can hold way more than two monitors. You can put your notes on it, books, whatever. And alongside that, it does come with some adjustable zip ties. It also came with the large Velcro cable holder that I stole for my setup. And I think it costs about $140. So that's pretty affordable if you compare it to replacing your entire desk. So my desk was about $300 and Jake's desk was about $400. So depending on what kind of height adjustable desk you want, the price can definitely go up real fast, especially if you go for something very nice, like one of those uplift desks. That's actually what I want, but we couldn't afford that. So I went with something a little bit more budget friendly. This is very budget friendly compared to any of those options and it will get the job done. And it's also a temporary solution to maybe a temporary situation. Maybe one day you just wanna go back to sitting at your desk instead of having to raise it and lower it and do work-related tasks. All right, so that was it for this week's Snaz Up Your Setup. If you wanna make suggestions for what the next episode of Snaz Up Your Setup can be or what you want it to be or what you want us to include in this series, feel free to leave that down below and also join our wonderful Discord server where a lot of people can help you on pretty much anything from keyboard builds to purchase suggestions to audio file suggestions, PC building, you can talk about food, pets, music, all that jazz, all happening in our Discord server, links down below as well. As for some ideas that I've been having for Snaz Up Your Setup, I was thinking something like lighting or RGB or I don't know, like different lighting for different situations like studying and work or dim light or gaming, things like that. And then another one I was thinking about is 
sort of a desktop organization system if you have a lot of junk if you're working throughout the day like where are you going to put all your pens your notes things like that and then another idea i had was like a complete budget battle station i guess but i don't know i'm just talking out of my brain here you know suggestions are welcome let me know if you're doing wire management anytime soon and if you're if you want feel free to post a picture in our discord server about that i'd love to take a look or tag us on instagram and we'll take a look at that as well thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one